Okay, first, um, let's just briefly talk about yourself. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I, I, I'm from Thailand, mm -hmm. and um, so I come here to Hayes kind of a long time ago, to Fort Hayes, mm -hmm. actually. And after I finished school, I moved to Seattle area for a little bit before mm -hmm. I moved back to Kansas, which is kind of smaller town than this called Stockton. Yeah. And I have a little cafe for a few years oh. before I close mm -hmm. and move here. Ah. Oh. So that's. That means you have your own business in Seattle? I don't have. I, I mean, you know, I move because. Um, I got married. Oh. So I yeah. moved there and, and then I kinda like to move back to Kansas. Mm -hmm. It's kinda more more safe more more peaceful. More peaceful. Yeah. yeah. I like Seattle but around area but I think I like yeah. kind of visit here. Oh, okay. Seeing I have two children. Mm -hmm. So I think it's kinda of better. Yeah. And so why you uh, decide to start a store? After I moved from Stockton, I actually wanted to do a little cafe mm -hmm. and my cafe in Stockton named Jasmine. Oh. So I, I actually want to bring Jasmine here, mm -hmm. but it didn't happen. So it was just something that didn't happen, but I need to do something and mm -hmm. I already have the space here mm -hmm. so that's why I, I kind of start the business like uh, maybe some some like a clothing mm -hmm. first yeah. and then I add the tea because I know that the clothing business mm -hmm. here or what I'm doing is not the main thing that people around here would yeah. wear or would like uh -huh. so I have I need something that to add more and bring people to the store okay. and it's nothing better than uh, to do something like a food business mm -hmm. you know I was gonna do the cafe but it's not working yes so I still want to do something with the food or drink so that's why I do the bubble tea uh. because it's nobody else doing it yes and it's kind of new here I want to bring something that new uh, to uh, people around here. I mean it's small town. It, it was kind of hard at first because people doesn't know what is the bubble tea. So they're skeptical uh -huh. about it. So they they thought that I made it up, which I did. So and I still have to explain people every day like yes. what is it or you know a lot of people still doesn't know about it. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Yeah. Uh, and uh can you talk about why you choose Indigo mm -hmm. as the store's name? So actually, uh, the full name is Indigo by Jasmine. Mm -hmm. The reason that I choose the Indigo because uh, first I like the Indigo color, mm -hmm. and it was kind of like um, it's the natural dye that you know they go through out all over the world, mm -hmm. which is kind of like what I'm doing. That I bring the stuff that from kind of more ethnic and more uh, from somewhere else overseas that not from here and that's why I kind of choose the indigo but then I have like by jasmine because mm -hmm. it's just something that remind me as the business that I used to have oh. called jasmine so I'm just like indigo by jasmine but people oh. always confuse me that oh you know are you jasmine so I'm just like yes I'm jasmine Oh. So I'm just like, okay, just yeah. like using as a name too. As a name, yeah. yeah. But it used to be my old business name. I got it. And I also noticed there, there is a lot of decoration mm -hmm. of elephants. Can you tell us uh, what, what that means for you? And does there mm -hmm. have specific meaning from your mm -hmm. culture? So like some of them, like some elephant, mm -hmm. Uh, in Thailand, we, we used to believe that elephant give you the good luck. Mm -hmm. And elephant is a big, uh, big animal. Yeah. So they kind of have the feeling as, you know, like they, they have the long life mm -hmm. and they also have the feeling. Yeah. Kind of more like a human, you know. Uh -huh. that. And, um, 
and also uh, I, I I like elephant too, like personal. Like I like I like elephant. That's why I have a lot of elephant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, brings lucky. Yeah, to bring luck to me. Yes. Yeah. And uh, can you also talk about the bubble tea? Like, what kind of flavor do you have? Mm -hmm. And I have a lot of flavor, and I also like have like an original kind mm -hmm. that you know like when they start they all they have like an original flavor which is like a black black tea black mm -hmm. milk tea mm -hmm. and then I also have kind of more fusion flavor like cookie and cream hazelnut and I have like a milk tea or mm -hmm. fruit tea mm -hmm. that uh, you can choose from like the milk tea would be kind of more milky and then the fruit tea will be like clear color and more fruity flavor yeah. and I, I have like the what they call like the boba mm -hmm. so that uh, the first one is like an original one uh -huh. it's like a black chewy mm -hmm. and then the other kind is called popping which is kind of clear color uh -huh. it actually comes with the different flavor you can choose like different flavor but I only have strawberry uh -huh. so and That's then I have a lot of flavor too like which my popular one uh, for the fruit flavor would be like passion fruit, mm -hmm. strawberry or mango. That would be like popular mm -hmm. one. Yeah. The milk tea, the milk tea, the popular one, which kind of spread it out. Uh, so, yeah. Did you um, um, try to make some combination or adjusting to meet more American people? Uh, usually they, they kind of do themselves, customer they do themselves like oh. okay can it mix the flavor and they usually say yes you can. Oh. Um, I really like bubble tea because of all of the variety you get here and it's just a really nice shop. Okay so this is my first time actually being here and I really like it. They have a wide variety of flavors in different things to buy here and it's just different from your regular tea and it makes it more interesting so I really like it.